Uh, hi, my name is Sahil Wadwa, um, and uh, my team name is Avenger, um, and I'm the uh, only Avenger in the team, and my team number is um, RP Cult uh, 003. Uh, starting with the idea title of self-healing system, um, I would like to first highlight uh, how this idea came into my mind, uh, what's the foundation behind this idea. And I am pretty much uh, sure that everyone would have faced uh, in his or her life somewhere uh, in his or her life this scenario. I would start with a very small story which I faced a couple of months ago when I ordered a small, um, I ordered a beverage at a, a center which was very sour in taste. Uh, after taking uh, the first step, I could easily make out that there was some problem in the um, uh, beverage. As a normal person should do, I just called up the help decks and I reported them then that this beverage is something which is um, tasting sore enough. And I, I think that this there is some defect in the manufacturing. Uh, I, got, I, I got a customer request number um, and a couple of weeks passed away and there was, there was no response to me. Uh, customer has request handling is something which is uh, is a prominent and a, a significant uh, business area for uh, all the industries, be it be manufacturing, be it be automobile, be it be services, non-services. So, uh, so I decided to uh, streamline this entire process so that I can scale that um, across different business areas, uh, across different businesses, and also scale that in technical terms as well. So, because we, uh, when it, uh, the first step in the conventional methods is that whenever you call a help, uh, help desk agent, there is an agent sitting on the um, uh, on the back end side. Uh, he or she records the, uh, your details and then gives you a request number and then transfer that request number to the to a particular team. So, this entire process has a number of hops, uh, has a lot of new human intervention. Uh, so I, I tried, why not I can automate the system uh, so that I can scale the system as well. So that's the all idea about self-healing system, which is uh, streamlining the operations. It not only uh, related to external customers, but also the internal processes. So we can scale this solution to our internal ITSM processes as well, which are used in services industry, which is the incident problem management systems. Uh, some of the potential benefits uh, from uh, this model that we can achieve is because uh, if you have to stay, um, stay in this competitive world, uh, if you are a service industry, you have to you have to be on the next level you have to stay ahead of the curve by adoption of new technologies innovation uh, how is this model innovative because i'm using an ai enabled retrainable model uh, which can easily predict which system can be affected based on the issues description issue description the details that are being received by the customer external customer uh, faster response time and sa uh, customer satisfaction are two uh, prominent, significant areas uh, that uh, can be achieved through the system, and which which are the actual the backbone of the service industry. Uh, it's a highly scalable model, as I told. It's it's scalable in the business terms as well, uh, as this can be a scale across business areas, across different businesses, and it's, it's scalable on the technical terms as well. Uh, I, I calculated a small expenditure um, as well, how much capex would be required, um, and uh, if that's a highly NPV and a high IRR project or not, uh, just to uh, pitch the idea that uh, this is an effective and efficient idea which can be implemented across the services. The technologies that I have used um, is a chatbot um, in replacement to the uh, human that sp uh, sits on a help desk agent and records the details. Uh, to detect this system, I've used a enabled model. Um, I've used UI path and the background for the RPA bots to get into the system, resolve the problem for the uh, incident creation uh, and uh, recording all the incidents and the issues that were rec received by the customer, how they are proceeding. I'm using a service now. Um, and uh, right now for the demo purposes, uh, I'm using middleware system because the issue or the description that is provided by the customer is something the AI enabled model has predicted that this is a middleware system that could be affected based on the issue. So we can scale that to different systems. It can be a problem related to ERP system. It can be a problem related to uh, information security system. So that's, that's a scalable model. Okay, uh, starting with the architecture first. So I will go with the uh, expanded architecture. So, uh, 
on the uh, left hand side you can see that it starts with the nlp chatbot agent agent uh, interacts with the customer uh, collects the data from the customer request it can be a, a product based problem or a service based problem if that is a product based problem uh, customer can upload warranty bills um, and all that stuff related to a particular product with when a, it is a product based problem uh, we identify the uh, uh, documents which are uploaded by the customer if that is a bill type document or a different type of document we characterize it into a particular document type and extract the details of, from the documents if that is a service based problem uh, get the issue details from the customer uh, if for example if if uh, a customer say that we are not able to interact with the end systems i am not able to create tickets or i am i am not able to uh, log into the erp system these are some kind of uh, problems that external customers majorly face when we try to move into different industries so once the issue has been received there is a retrainable model that detects that which system can be based on the issue description so if that is uh, for example if that is like um, uh, i am not able to log into a erp system so the trainable model has been detected that it is a erp system problem i am not able to create tickets maybe it's some middleware problem so that's a model that predicts uh, based on uh, what system can be affected based on the issue description once the backend system has been detected uh, so this these are uh, starting with chatbot predictive modeling and then the document processing then we go ahead to the rpa workflow where robot enters into that affected system it checks if the system is up or not because that's a primary step if that is down uh, robot creates a human request uh, that, that that is where the human intervention is involved but that's uh, that depends upon the business workflow if approval is required or not to make that system up uh, once the approval has been received uh, the robot would uh, would Uh, start from the same step that it stopped. Robot then restarts the system, and through the API calls, it gets the customer details. If that customer is something registered with us or not, what's their SLA levels at that point of time? Uh, if if uh, and uh, uh, if from the API calls as well, the robot gets the exact resolution step based on the issue description. So what the robot has to perform when it enters the system, it has to check the system, it has to check, check this web service, it has to check. Uh, uh if if that web service is uh, down what steps uh, the robot has to perform so that is also a predefined set of knowledge base that a uh, robot can access through api calls so this is this is purely a automated system which is in replacement to the existing uh, conventional system which is followed across the multiple businesses so this entire architecture is something which is can be related to a very uh, uh, short uh, and a crisp diagram where there is a external customer there is a chatbot agent through the interfaces there are the rpa bots there is a machine learning model that detects the system and rpa bot enters into the system resolves the problem uh, what steps are which is which are being performed on the bot is something which is stored in the service now incident management system so that if a human intervention if after performing the predefined steps we require a human intervention as well so human should know what the robot has already performed and what was the results and the outcome for that so if this uh, uh, robot has checked the system was up a uh, uh, robot would update the incident uh, uh, the particular incident that the it, this kind of step was already done and this was the outcome so that kind of system is something which is which robot updates in the service now so that's that's the entire um, consolidated diagram of what i showed in two steps over here so there are multiple technologies over used over here chatbot rpa uh, human in loop apis uh, document processing uh, so this that's the entire use case uh, why self healing system why we require it um, uh, what would what effects it would make to the business value chain uh so these are four more critical there are multiple parameters on which we can i can uh, predict a particular uh, mod this self healing system how it, what parameters it can uh, what parameters it can work on what uh, advantages benefits a, a company or a, a particular industry can gain productivity is the most critical one because we are providing 24 cross 7 support there is no human intervention robots are uh, involved so accuracy is the at uh, at the peak level uh cost efficiency because we, we are using uh, a robot we are using uh, automated systems so uh, we would definitely uh, save some cost would uh, increase the top line growth 
uh, operational improvement the time saving are uh, uh, are couple of parameters that can uh, because we are using a reusable model we are using a intelligent learning model so uh, it would save the time uh, we would get faster response uh, customer would be happy we can satisfy the customer based on uh, correct steps which are performed and operational efficiency we are because we are storing a lot number of data which robot can learn on can predict the systems so that kind of data is something which is stored that's the reason it provides operational improvement uh this is what i explained uh, in the previous step as well customer satisfaction innovation performance and transparent processes why transparent processes because updates are flowing back instantly to the customer that what is being done on your customer ticket number these numbers which i have calculated is on a based on a research which i did for multiple industries and what kind of uh, uh, what percentage of reduction in delays what uh, we can achieve through this self healing system in the customer complaint model uh, because how much automation we can uh, uh, inbuilt in this entire uh, request handling process and what kind of revenues we can increase by saving the cost okay uh, starting with the demo uh, so the image divided into foreground process and the background processes so the uh, model that i've used for the demo purposes is uh, a issue description that is entered by the uh, customer or the or the external user uh, which is uh, which the uh, robot the uh, machine learning model predicts that it is a uh, middleware system robot gets into the middleware system do uh, does some uh, steps uh, updates the incident in the service now and there is also a human approval uh, step involved into it there is also an audio uh, in this video if it, that is not uh, it, it not not playing let me know i would share the screen once again hi and it asks us on is that uh, is the audio was there yeah hi and it asks us on name for for the first attempt and so for example i put my name and then it's asked that this name is correct or not if i enter no it would uh, give me another option that to enter my name once again and um, uh, ask me if if that my problem is related to service or the product so as uh, i've included in the entire architecture it would uh, ask that if that is a product or a service problem uh, for example i enter service and uh, when i enter the service it asked me about the description about the user so for example i give i am not even create tickets web service so uh, now the bot is being uh, run in the background uh, and it's, there is a machine learning program that would be called and it would uh, it has been trained so so for example it gives me a message that the system would be affected as middleware so that's uh, predicted on the basis on the description that being that is being provided by the user so once i press okay um, so currently for the demo purposes we have kept that uh, message box um, the message box not be the email address or not in the background uh, now again there is a, a robot that is running in the background it uh, it it uh is uh, performing some of the background processes and um, with the background processes it creates a uh, incident in the service now and uh, with the incident creation it uh, also performs some predefined steps based on the issue description that has been provided so uh, in the in the in the uh, next step you would see how the robot has been behaving in the background and what's the um, how how it interacts support will trying to get the uh, state of the service even check the health and once it done it we go down right so these are the step that bot performed even uh, added in the incident that will help the human representative that is uh, assigned as uh, as what was find everything looks good and in case if if find anything wrong let the server and the service was not up then it will perform those step just to up them even inform the customer so that that will help in uh, the customer satisfaction even uh, resolving the incident as as soon as we can right that's and if the robot finds in that uh, the server health 
or the server uh, state is not in the running state and it requires a bounce it will create a request and that would go into my actions so this is something which is uh, using a action center for involvement of human uh, to approve the request for the server bounce and this the the some of the fields are present like uh, the issue that was received from the customer customer name that was received from the customer uh, which server we have to bounce um, who is the requester and the incident number that was created uh, and sent back to the customer through the chatbot uh, user can assign the request to himself and click on submit so once he or she clicks on submit it would be uh, submitted and the robot would restart would get the approval and would restart the server on its own yeah so this this demo was uh, because the issue was something which was predicted as a middleware system we can scale that to number of systems depending upon the business workflows uh, it can be an ERP system it can be an information security system it depends upon what type of issue description is being received from the customer uh, external customer and uh, how how that its retainable model predicts that system if the predict uh, retainable model does not predict a particular system and a human intervention is re required it's a retainable model so once a human uh, notify that this kind of a situation in this kind of issue description this uh, kind of system would be affected then uh, at the next time in the future if that kind of issue is something which is received uh, the model would predict on its own so there is there would no uh, human intervention re required at that point of time uh, thank you Shahil and team uh, in the interest of time you know that was a good presentation but we are way above time uh, i would not take much time uh, srinath and lahiru over to you for your questions uh srinath here uh, sahil uh, one quick question so this part of uh, yeah it was a very good uh, use case in the presentation and uh, so these are already a part of uh, ai ops if you have uh, heard about it right so what is how is it different from uh, ai ops offering with whatever you have built Okay, so this kind of model is something which is the, the one that is offered right now is does not interact with all the end systems and it, uh, it only predicts a particular kind of system, but it, it does not get into the system to resolve the problem. So this kind of problem would, uh, this kind of uh, self-healing system would also would heal that system on its own. So there is no system that can go into this uh, process uh, into a backend system and resolve the problem and so on based on a particular predefined steps because that would vary from different business workflows if that i'm you if a, uh, as an enterprise i'm using a uh, erp system and, uh, and i have a business workflow uh, that would have a different number of steps uh, uh, to resolve a pro particular kind of problem and the other enterprise would have a different kind of uh, steps to resolve that problem okay thank you so that's that's bringing the entire uh, uh, industry into a uh, into a single platform thank you thank you Srinath. Uh, lahiru over to you i'm good promise okay thank you so much sahil it was a wonderful uh, use case and a very good presentation uh, we'll get back to you when we have all the feedback from all the users thank you Thank you.